How's it going everyone? This is EK1 Gaming and I'm going to bring you a video on how to spoof on Pokemon Go for free with no surveys, no crap, just easy simple spoofing. Get the shinies, get the 100 IVs, let's go. But anyway, let's get into the video. So what we're going to do is show you how to spoof, uh, how to download the software to spoof. And then in future videos, I'm going to show you how I have, have mine set up so you can set up the same way. I think it's very effective in terms of how many shinies, etc. and 100 IV Pokemon that you get um, and to do raids uh, easily. So I'm going to do future videos on this. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like the content. Now, as I said before, this is 100% free. There's going to be no surveys on any of these downloads. There's going to be no EXE files you've got to download. No crap that's going to pop up on your screen. No hacking, apart from hacking Pokemon, I suppose. But no, in terms of you, it's, it's safe. Okay, I've been using this for a long time now. Um, I have four accounts, um, all spoofing accounts, and I have a normal account. Bringing me on to the first point, you need iOS device. I'm not doing Android today. Uh, Android is very difficult to do. It's, there's a lot that goes into Android, so I wanted to do it separate videos. Uh, so this is iOS only. So Android users, I'm sorry, this is not the video to, for you today. However, there's a couple of things you need to do before you can spoof on Pokemon Go. First thing is delete Pokemon Go, the app. So you're gonna delete it. You're gonna wipe it off your iPad or iPhone. Second of all, you're probably going to want to create another Pokemon account. So you can do that when we download the spoofing software, it's fine. But I probably wouldn't log into your main account because there is a chance you can get banned. So they'll just ban the account. You know, it, it's as simple as that. You, you, we're cheating, right? So eventually they're going to they're gonna catch on to who's cheating, depending on how you use it and if you're sensible with the cooldowns, etc., which will all make sense later on. Um, depends whether you'll get banned or not. So I haven't been banned. I've been doing it for like four or five months now. I've got three accounts, four accounts actually. I've got four accounts uh, and a normal account as well. So, and um, you're gonna need your iOS device to be kind of up to date. No, you can't be old. You can't be like an iPhone, iPad two from 1976. It has to be relatively new because you're downloading an app, and and these apps are uh, formatted for certain updates so just make sure it's kind of up to, up to date mine's fully up to date i believe maybe not i don't know maybe one away but it works fine so so as i said i'm just going to show you now how to download the software on your actual device okay so you're going to need your device you not a pc not nothing else you're going to need your device okay it's really simple simple and easy no surveys so you're going to go on to safari and I've already got the web page up. So appvalleyapp.com. Appvalleyapp.com. You can see it right there. I'll put the link in the description below so you can click straight on it. And it's simple. You're going to go to install App Valley. It's the first thing you see, the blue line. Click the blue line. It's going to take you to the next page. Scroll down slightly. Pick one of those configurations. I, was going to pick, I always pick config one. So click config one, go down slightly, download link one is what I always press. And then this is important, you have to click allow, okay? This is gonna put a configuration profile on your iPad or iPhone. So you click allow, and it will say profile downloaded. Just close that, come out of Safari. Then you just need to go into your settings, go down to general, or maybe at the top it will say profile downloaded. Sometimes that doesn't come up. So profile downloaded is preferable at the top block. It will say App Valley. You have to install this, okay? So App Valley is kind of an app store that gives you hacked games, hacked um, software, such as Spotify for free, etc. But I'll go through those videos um, in, the, in the near future of all the other apps and how to get the most out of using App Valley itself. And um, I'm not endorsed by App Valley at all. Um, I'll just do this video just because people have been asking me how I've got all these shinies. And I think just share the wealth, you know, like the more people spoofing, the more people that are gonna be doing raids and the easier it is for us to complete raids. So, so put in your passcode. 
Of course, I've covered mine up. Then just click next and then install and then install again. You'll see it will come up and the right hand corner should say done. Just click done. Close that off. Now go to the end of your apps and you should have an app now called App Valley. You're just going to click on App Valley, okay? Now this is the easiest thing ever. You would not believe how easy it is and how many people are trying to charge people to show them this or how many people are trying to make you do surveys to get the links. It's absolutely ridiculous. I will say one thing, App Valley has ads, which has just popped up right up there. You see at the top, alert. Do not click on them, okay? It's irrelevant. It's like just a pop-up. So just scroll down a little bit. At the top, featured, you'll see iSpoofer Pokey Go. Click on that, and it will open up like an app, and then just click Get. It should come up Install, just click install, come out of it, and you'll see there the app is downloading. Now, this is important. You have to delete the old Pokemon Go app because this will not install. It will not download because it will say that you've already got it downloaded. But this version is the spoofing version. So it will look exactly like Pokemon Go, but I'll show you the menu when we go in there now. And then, as I say in future videos, I'll show you how to actually use it and what's the most efficient way to farm or to um, basically just go and get everything you want. Um, obviously there's still things that are rare and shinies are still rare. You can't just click a shiny uh, and it takes you to a shiny, you know. It can um, filter, it can do a lot of things. But I'll go into videos um, in more depth um, in the near future. So hit that subscribe and hit the bell button as well because that will give you notifications when I post a video or go live streaming. So as you can see, it's just finished downloading. So you're just gonna click on Pokemon Go. You'll see now, Untrusted Enterprise de Developer, okay? So this means the iPad is saying, hold on, we don't recognize this developer. This has not come from the App Store. What shit, like we're not letting you download this, okay? So you just click cancel, okay? Now what you're gonna do now is just go back to your settings. Now go into general, scroll down, and you'll see profiles and device management. You're gonna click that. And then you'll see a random long one, Enterprise App, at the bottom. It will sometimes say China Telecom. It will sometimes say something different. It will sometimes it'll actually be in Chinese or Japanese. Um, so you've just got to click on it, and it will say Pokemon Go. That's how you know you've got the correct one, okay? So each game you download can have a different developer. You have to trust them developers to be able to open the app. So you've literally just got to click Trust China Telecom Corporation. Click that. Click Trust. When it's done, it instantly does it. It's not a problem. Come back off it. Go back to your Pokemon Go. Click on Pokemon Go. And as you see, it will start downloading. You see my screen's just tipped. It doesn't matter. Um, so I'm just going to don't allow on that. So we're just going to change the date of birth to, I don't know, 1984. We're going to submit. We are going to say we're a new player. Uh, actually, we're not. We're going to go returning player. If you want to create a new account, create a new account. I'm just going to quickly log in to one of my other ones. We're going to continue. I'm just going to log in to a secondary account. We're going to go for this one. Face ID. Obviously, I'm covering up my email address, etc. for logging in. So I want people to know. So just log in as normal. There we go. So basically, okay, just the same old, the same old stuff, you know. Oh, okay, so I didn't accept the permissions actually. My bad. So, yeah, so basically just obviously allow the permissions. Then you're gonna click okay. Will a report looming in the shadows? Will there's a new event coming. So as you can see now, you have two different um, menus, one on the right side, which is here, and one on the other side, which is here. I haven't used this account for a little while, I think I'm level 28, uh, which I am. So basically, you can just sort of teleport, you can do all different things, but the joystick is on the right, you can see me just walking, I'm using the joystick on the bottom right there. So you can move across, 
You can do all this stuff really simple. Simple and easy. Now if you want to see the videos of how to use this in depth, do not forget to click that subscribe button, hit that like button. Any questions you've got, any issues you've got, put them in the description or the sorry, the comment section below. And I'll comment back. I always reply to all my subs. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps. Let me know how it how you get on with it and what shinies you get. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.